Hello there guys, welcome to Dino's Vault and welcome to yet another sensational review. This is the Benelli 502C, our very own Desi DIY you'd like to call it. But anyway, this is more than what meets the eye. Uh, I had done a walk around. I was super impressed with the build quality. I always wanted to ride it and see uh, how well it rode and what kind of uh, ride feel and intensity and performance and power it had on offer. So yes, today is the day we're going to ride it. I mean, uh, to my heart's content and talk about everything that you guys need to know. Now, uh, let me quickly give you a quick overview for those who are new. Uh, this is a power cruiser. A power cruiser is something that packs the uh, power of a sport bike with the you know, comfort and relaxed riding posture of a cruiser. So this is kind of a first of its kind because we've never seen a proper DIY inspired uh, you know, power cruiser uh, in our market. Yes, we've had the uh, Dominar 400. Uh, but the Domina 400 doesn't classify as a complete power cruiser because its stance is slightly upright. It's more of a power tourer. So this is a proper low slung power cruiser, clearly inspired by the XDFL. We can see the design influence right there. But make no mistake, this one has its own identity. When you ride it, you feel the rush. You feel the intensity. You feel ben Benelli have gone all out in trying to come up with a blockbuster product. Price is around uh, 4.98 lakhs for this ballistic beastly beauty. Now, uh, let's start with the design. Uh, design, first of all, you have the headlamp, which comes with LED lighting, LED DRLs look nice and menacing, gives you uh, the feel of, uh, uh, you know, general uh, grievous kind of uh, this thing, uh, look or a robotic kind of a look, very sinister kind of a look, LED turn indicators look again very premium quality, massive chunky USD folks, now these they say are 41mm inverted folks or USD folks, these actually look fatter than that and offer superb front end feel, trust me, and then you have very well crafted front fender and uh, that goes really well with the rest of the design of the bike dual 280 mm petal discs dual channel abs as standard again you have petal disc at the back then you have this tubular chassis which is the backbone of the machine and the beast you can say that's lurking inside and this goes all the way and uh, then you this continues on to the tubular swing arm which offers uh, rock solid stability while you know changing directions it changes directions with ease and feels planted even upwards of 160 kilometers per hour and the more you rev it the more the beast comes alive then you have a massive 21 liter tank steel tank right here so you can mount your mag magnetic tank bags easily and uh, then of course the details here you can see the massive radiator grill right over there liquid cooled Fuel injected uh, uh, 502 cc parallel to an engine, 47.5 uh, uh, ps of max power and uh, 46 newton meters of torque. That is a flat torque curve that they have achieved, and that you can taste and experience and go crazy, go wild along with the bike once you ride it. Then uh, all the design elements right here, like the carbon fiber casing for this uh, this thing, engine housing, and then carbon fiber elements here and there really add on to the premium fit and finish that they're trying to offer even the aluminium foot pegs with the rubber uh, topping on top really really makes a quality statement then of course the even the pillion foot pegs have the aluminium aluminium foot pegs and the rubber mounting then this is like a machine gun <laughs> This is like a machine gun, fires away at the ring of the throttle. An exhaust note is something that Benelli have been known for all along. Another interesting design element is the neatly integrated uh, turn indicators on this tire hugger. And then in a day and age where uh, Pirelli tires have become endangered uh, species, uh, you get the proper Pirelli Angel uh, GT tires and this is phenomenal road grip for the kind of 
character powertrain that this uh, bike carries then of course another one of my best design elements in this bike is the way the tail lamp is incorporated or uh, is kind of neatly integrated into the tail section and here you have the 502c branding nice ribbed pattern seat very comfortable very spacious lot of lower lumbar support for the rider there you have the drill the flight drill happening then uh, very short space supermodel ish kind of space here on offer for the pillion but still you get a nice laid back backrest such that the pillion can have uh, his or her own comfort zone then again the tank lid even the attention to detail i love on this bike the way they've shaped the tank lid and this particular part is really really awesome then another important part that i really loved other is the lever feel lever feel quality of the levers really good adjustable levers for the brake as well as the clutch high beam flasher engine kill switch and a hazard light switch so all this makes it an absolute winning proposition the gear shift lever is perfectly positioned and uh, you have a massive rear sprocket for that thrust of torque that or uh, wave of torque that you want to hit each time you ring the throttle wide open mono shock at its place so even the side stand is of very good quality the gear shifts are smooth clutch is nice and uh, easy to operate then of course is the speedo console now this is white display looks a little ordinary not so great kind of but once you switch it to the black mode like uh, once uh, the ambient light sensor kicks in and once it turns dark the black display backlit display starts and that has kind of a sniper kind of a view and it looks super super premium as well so this was a overview of the bike i given the price the details and uh, the power and the torque figures and an overview of the suspension and the brakes and the uh, tires these are the usp spirelli tires 41 mm folks uh, rock solid chassis brilliant styling and a premium quality for the amount it demands so you have to ride it guys you have to ride it to believe it i am doing this walk around after doing the ride portion so i am absolutely uh, you know floored by the kind of performance this uh, bike has on offer ride it on the higher rpms little bit of vibrations in the lower rpms not on the handlebar but not uh, but on the foot pegs that can be felt slightly but this is a refined engine and the more you rev it the more refined it feels more at ease it feels and more it feels at home so that's about the overview of the bike next let's get along with my ride impression so let's not waste any more time let's hit the road Hello there guys welcome to Dino's Vault and yes today i have the Benelli 502c is a super kick ass power cruiser from the house of benelli this one really reminds us of the diavel the x diavel and it is super affordable at 4.98 lakhs x showroom 47.5 bs i mean 47.5 ps and 46 newton meters of torque so let's see what this thing is truly made up of Sixty was it? I was rock solid, absolutely rock solid. Superb stability, great poise. Forty-seven point five PS, forty-six newton meters. The flat torque curve is there, which means ring the throttle 
the bike goes absolutely wild for 280 mm dual discs or front pedal discs so the braking performance is really right on point and of course i love the levers on these very premium quality clutch and brake levers with adjustment both can be adjusted for reach and uh, that's what makes this an absolute you know <laughs> a weapon in your hands uh trust me you might have uh, ridden uh, low slung cruisers or uh, you might have ridden ridden kind of uh, nice relaxed tourers but nothing like this ever uh, oh my god this goes absolutely wild each time you ring the throttle and the great handling characteristics is what makes this even even better look at this go oh oh, oh. man rock solid stability even at 160 km per hour very relaxed seating posture forward set foot pegs massive 21 liter tank the handlebar is ultra wide i think this is the widest handlebar i have uh, ridden uh, till now and it is very premium and rock solid stability is something and suspension you can say it is slightly on the stiffer side but that is what translates into the ultimate one of the best high speed stability that you can find in this price range usd folks 41 mm and they offer ultimate super front end feel now one thing yes you call it chinese or you call it whatever you want it but this thing is built like a tank it's built really really well for 4.98 lakh ek showroom you get a bike that looks like a 20 lakh bike i mean yes it reminds us of the xdl but this one is no less it's built built really really well built like a tank and uh, everything the foot pegs to the handlebar to the levers to the tank to the front fender everything just screams quality also for those who think that this display looks a little uh, too small well it complements the design and uh, at night trust me it looks absolutely gorgeous like you have ambient uh, sensor within this to change the display and uh, once you do change the display once the display changes to black that's when uh, it becomes absolutely yeah you have the trip a trip p setting here on this button this is not abs on off button uh, you do get dual channel abs as standard and uh, safety is well taken care of but trust me this thing is absolutely ballistic goodness gracious look at this thing go oh oh it's a rocket it's an absolute rocket <laughs> a cruiser rocket <laughs> oh my goodness what a rush man what a rush this is unbelievable this is incredible woo hoo hoo This thing is a powerhouse. It's an absolute powerhouse and they have the stopping power to tame it into submission and that's what makes this a uh, a relaxed cruiser rocket. Naya naam nikla na cruiser rocket. Baap re kya gaadi hai? I mean 
you won't see it coming like i kind of expected it because i love the uh, refinement on the trk i love the refinement on the leoncino a uh, scrambler the trk has been refined further for this year the bs61 and the 2021 model lekin iska jo kamal hai the more you rev it the more refined it gets and lower rpm mein thoda bahut aapko like you will feel a little bit of vibes on the foot pegs but it is refined it is not uh, too bothersome for you or uh, you can't call it a deal breaker it is built really well man i'm so happy like i walk around karte samay i was just hoping are kab chalane ko milega but then now i have it with me for last three or four days and this thing is is so comfortable so easy to maneuver let's try that uh, black wala display now let's get into the tunnel i just hope it comes on it should come on now come on man don't let me down black wala display aa ja aa gaya ye dekho kitna kamal ka hai display rpm rev counter right there and you have kind of that uh, sniper kind of view here ye dekh sakte hain aap gear position indicator hai engine uh, coolant temperature hai fuel gauge hai everything is there and uh, again you can toggle through trip a trip b like this like in fir bhi this is my favorite beautiful beautiful display chalo comfort ki baat karte hain comfort is again next level saddle one of the most comfortable saddles it's not too soft kyunki that's something i keep saying ki overly soft seats tend to give you butt ache after long distance riding this one is just about you have that ribbed pattern seat to so acha comfortable uh, seating hai and even for the pillion you have a backrest so two of you can tour on this effortlessly and iska seating posture it is it is something you have to experience here it is something different apne ko ye breed nahi milega like power cruiser uh, yes uh, dominar hai but that is not a low slung power cruiser this is a proper low slung, uh, slung uh, power cruiser with a lot of muscle attached to it. i mean look at this tank beefed up tank 21 liter tank forward set foot pegs nice relaxed seating posture proper xd level kind of a feel and uh, yes you have hazard lights as well engine kill switch everything so raw and like no over the top stuff everything to the point and kept raw and pure dual channel abs de diya bas kafi hai apne liye safety ke liye and the handlebar quality the matte finish satin black finish is so good and uh, yahan pe 502c this thing is a dynamite i mean waiting to explode as a throttle gumao and it goes crazy and you also have dual throttle cable uh, this thing so that offers seamless seamless acceleration very consistent instant acceleration as soon as the ring of the throttle ab dekho fifth gear mein फिफ्थ गेयर में वी वर डूइंग अराउंड फिफ्टी एंड वही फिफ्थ गेयर में यू कैन डू वन फिफ्टी सो दैट इज द ब्यूटी ऑफ द फ्लैट टॉर्क दैट इज एस्टेब्लिश मोस्ट ऑफ द मैनुफैक्चर गोइंग फॉर दैट बिकॉज पीपल वॉन्ट दैट इंस्टेंट पिकअप इन एवरी गेयर इंस्टेंट थ्रस्ट इंस्टेंट ओवरटेकिंग पावर तो इक डू यू सी दर इज नो नॉकिंग इवन वाइल डूइंग फोर्टी किलोमीटर्स पर आवर इन फिफ्थ गेयर सो दैट इज द ब्यूटी ऑफ दिस मशीन नॉट टू मच ऑफ गेयर चेंजिंग रिक्वायर्ड माइलेज विल बी बेटर माइलेज का कुछ ये क्लेम नहीं है बट स्टिल माइलेज विल बी एटलीस्ट माइलेज विल बी बेटर एंड देन प्राइज है फोर पॉइंट नाइन एट लैक्स एज आई टोल्ड यू टू नो द एग्जैक्ट ऑन रोड प्राइज यू कैन कॉल द नंबर मैंशन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन पोर्शन बिलो सो ओवरऑल आई फील सस्पेंशन इज ब्रिलियंट ब्रेक्स आर राइट ऑन पॉइंट टू एटी एम एम ड्यूएल डिस्क डू द जॉब एट द एंड ऑफ द डे बट द पावर एंड द कम्फर्ट द वे दे हैव मिक्सड और ब्लेंडेड बोथ ऑफ दैम इज आउट ऑफ दिस वर्ल्ड दैट यू हैव टू एक्सपीरियंस जब आप राइड करोगे मजा आ जाएगा आई थिंक दिस इज गोइंग टू बी अ ब्लॉक बस्टर फॉर बेनेली एंड दैट इज समथिंग दैट इज गोइंग टू कैच फायर विद इन नो टाइम बिकॉज 
you won't find this kind of comfort and this kind of power delivery this kind of ease to ride a machine in this price range or this kind of a breed this is unique one of its kind iska competition kuch bhi nahi hai so that is why it's going to sell like crazy and i just hope they uh, ramp up the production uh, this thing capacity to match the kind of demand that's going to come its way because i absolutely fell in love with this and uh, 160 was just in fifth gear we still had one gear left now that again sixth gear ka kabhi kabhi log dete hain for cruising sixth gear kabhi dete hain fuel economy ke liye kabhi sixth gear dete hain better extra bit of uh, punch for the better top end performance so shayad it can it can definitely pull further i just wanted to check the high speed stability so i just uh, turned it down there and uh, i just hope you enjoyed watching you know watching this high octane high intense uh, review and uh, really really i'm so satisfied this is what i came expecting from this and they have not let me down and uh, i'm thoroughly satisfied give it a big thumbs up and i'm sure it will put a smile on your face ride it on an open stretch ride it on a highway and then you'll come to know what kind of a power this beast packs within itself i'll catch you guys in the next video until then take care god bless and ride safe